Hi there. Thank you so much for joining me today. This is part two of a three-part weekly series all on intermittent fasting. Don't miss the first episode. If you've not listened in on that, you're missing out. You want to make sure you do listen in because I give you four steps on just how to get started using intermittent fasting that you can take away like today and start using it. But part two, which is what we're going to focus on today, really narrows into the science, which is my favorite, the science behind intermittent fasting and the benefits that our bodies are seeing during the fasting mode. For weight loss, especially for women in our perimenopause and menopause years, but also the, all the other great benefits that our bodies feel and see internally that affects our longevity for this second phase in our life. So I can't wait to dig in. But before we do, I want to introduce myself. If we've not yet met, my name is Nicole Dalton. I have been a family medicine physician assistant now for over 20 years with a focus in women's health, lifestyle medicine, and helping to run a medically managed weight loss clinic. I pivoted my career last year and I am now a health coach and I specifically work with women 35 and older to help them lose weight. And I do that by using real food and I make it simple. We get back to basics and I adjust the foods day to day to make sure we're balancing our hormones because this will allow for weight loss during this phase in our life because weight loss is different in perimenopause and menopause. I'm sure you are feeling that weight loss is different. If you are curious to hear what it looks like working together, I would love to hop on a call with you simply schedule it's a free 30 minute breakthrough coaching session that I walk you through different questions and I really am curious to see what you're struggling with on your weight loss journey and I would love to walk you through how I have my coaching program set up so please schedule a free call and I'll link that in the show notes below if you've not joined my free Facebook community over on Weight Loss for Midlife Women, we would love to invite you and have you there as well. So I will link both of those links in the show notes below. Okay, let's dig in. So let's talk about the science behind intermittent fasting. I used to think intermittent fasting was a fad years ago, and I was very shocked and surprised when I actually saw many endocrinologists recommending intermittent fasting as a weight loss tool to their patients um, and how it can act as a powerful tool to balance insulin and stabilize our hormones. Intermittent fasting is one of the most powerful tools to do that. So let's dig in, okay? Intermittent fasting, first of all, is very easy and convenient right? We're just eating within a certain window, maybe six hours, maybe eight hours. I get into more of those specifics in part one, but it's very simple because we're eating less. And I'm sure if you're like me, this is a phase in our life that is probably one of the busiest phases in our lives. So how nice is it to have one less meal we need to worry about to cook and make the time to eat it, okay? However, there's way more benefits than just the ease and convenience of intermittent fasting, okay? So I want you to first think back to, you know, 100 years ago, but even longer ago, back in the primitive days, during the cave women days, okay? Our human woman female bodies are designed to go and sustain long hours of not eating. Think of the cave women days. They would wake up and have to walk around for hours hunting and gathering uh, before they would actually eat. And they might not even eat for a couple days as they're trying to forage for food. So our human bodies were actually designed to be able to go for long periods without eating. And what happens, so think of that cave woman. She's out there foraging, scavenging for food, but her blood sugar would drop, okay? But what happens as her blood sugar drops, 
is then her insulin level starts to drop too. And once her blood sugar and insulin levels were low enough, then her liver starts making ketones. Ketones are an incredible alternative fuel source that our bodies can tap into, okay? When the ketones went to the cave woman's brain, it gave her tons of energy. It made her more alert and focused. It lowered her inflammation in her joints so she can walk for longer. And this was all specifically so she can go find food, okay? So that is what is happening in our bodies as we go for hours, specifically 12 hours or more, without eating. We are able to tap into those ketones and we feel more focused. We have more energy is what most women report to me as well, okay? So we have, the truth is really we've been designed to thrive without food, okay? We're taught that the more you eat, the faster your metabolism is, right? Like, have you heard that before? That actually just doesn't make sense because every time you eat, your pancreas is making insulin, okay? Your pancreas keeps producing insulin and your cells eventually can't keep up with the amount of insulin that's sent to the cells and then we become insulin resistant, okay? So eating all day long is actually the quickest route to insulin resistance, if you've heard that term before. But intermittent fasting is an eating schedule that alternates periods of eating with periods of fasting. So you're already fasting as you're sleeping, right? But intermittent fasting just simply shrinks that window of what you're, when you're eating. Okay, so here are some of the benefits of intermittent fasting. It lowers those insulin levels. Like that cave woman who's foraging without food, her glucose is dropping, then her insulin is dropping. Um, but that also helps to release our fat stores as energy because normally our bodies are tapping into the carbs and sugars as energy, but when we're fasting, for more than 12 hours, then we are able to tap into our fat stores to use fat and burn fat as energy. Because normally you're not going to lose weight and lose fat unless you're fasting or at least part of when you're fasting because there's no, no reason for your body to release its fat stores for energy. If you already have plenty of sugar in your blood so when you're fasting, our bodies can tap into those fat stores. Another benefit of intermittent fasting is decreased insulin resistance, okay, which decreases your risk of prediabetes and type 2 diabetes. We absolutely see weight loss with intermittent fasting with lower insulin levels, lower calories, greater insulin sensitivity, we see weight loss. And oftentimes, I experience myself, I experience it with women that I work with, they're able to lose weight very quickly, okay? Also, other benefits um, of intermittent fasting is, this is a fun topic, I just like the word, it's kind of fun to say, but autophagy, okay? But this is actually, what this means is that our body is cleaning up these garbage cells, okay? There are cells in our body that go through a repair process and some of them cannot be repaired. And so autophagy literally means self-eating. So our body is eating its damaged cells and this leads to production of new cells, okay? So this is a big piece of the longevity piece that a lot of researchers are looking at now is how that autophagy process is started and how we can keep um, our body cleaning up these garbage cells to create new cells and healthy cells. We see enhanced brain health and reduced inflammation because we're lowering those insulin levels with intermittent fasting. And the last piece is an improved palate. So oftentimes when we're intermittent fasting, we when we do sit down to eat a meal, we eat less frequently and that allows for greater appreciation of the foods that we are eating, the healthy foods. And 
I have seen this too with clients that they'll come to me and say, I hate broccoli or I don't ever want to try a mushroom. <laughs> so once they start doing some intermittent fasting and they're appreciating real food more, they find that their palate improves and they're able to eat those vegetables that they didn't like when they started working together with me. So that's been fun to see. So overall, intermittent fasting is way more than just a tool for weight loss, okay? It is a great tool to use to improve our longevity and our health in general. So it is not another fad diet like I used to think. So if you have interest in how did I just start intermittent fasting, make sure you watch the part one of this three-part video series because that'll walk you through the steps on just how to get started. So if you found this video helpful, please hit like. I would love to hear a comment, any questions that you have about intermittent fasting, especially the benefits that we see as women during these perimenopause and menopause years. Hang in there for part three. Part three is where we're going to talk about just how to use intermittent fasting as a lifelong lifestyle.